Lung cancer is among the most common types of cancer, yet survival rates are often much lower because the cancer is usually found at a much later stage when it might be too late. To increase survival rates, Mid-State Medical Center offers a screening program for patients who are high risk and advanced technology to better diagnose lung cancers. Join me now are Drs. Chris Doba Alvarado, a thoracic surgeon, and J Dr. James Carroll, a radiologist. Thank you so much for being here. Sure, um, Dr. Alvarado, let's start with you and talk a little bit about some of the statistics nationally and locally. Sure. I think a lot of your viewers might be surprised to find out that uh, lung cancer actually kills more Americans than people who die of breast cancer, colon cancer, and prostate cancer combined. Mm -hmm. So it really is a, 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 a terrible thing for our society. About 160,000 people die every year from lung cancer. Um, and this is uh, Lung Cancer Awareness Month. I noticed that you have your pin on, uh, just raising awareness, right? Yeah, just trying to bring some uh, awareness to those those types of statistics. We know that pink is uh, breast cancer in October right. and white is for lung cancer. Correct. Okay. Um, and Dr. Carroll, let's talk a little bit about why uh, lung cancer survival is uh, possible with these advanced uh, screenings. Well, one of the things that, that has changed is our ability to find lung cancer early. Mm -hmm. In the past, people used chest x-rays, which use two pictures to display the chest. Now, CT scans can use a low radiation dose and obtain hundreds of images that display the lung parenchyma in very uh, detailed, a uh, very detailed fashion. And it allows us, instead of looking for cancers that are the size of a pea, we can now find small nodules that are the size of a grain of rice. Yeah. And when somebody has lung cancer, finding the cancer early can make all of the difference. But typically, in the past, it's, it's been found later. Yes. And that's what has caused uh, the higher death rates. Yes. But with the new screening, as we're trying to um, discuss here, you have a better chance of survival. We do, and, and one thing that we realize too is that it takes more than a CT scanner to help someone who might have lung cancer. And that's why Mid-State Medical Center has, has recently begun a multidisciplinary screening program. And with that program, it revolves around a, an individual called a lung screening navigator. And that navigator can field phone calls from patients and help them decide if screening might benefit them. The navigator also provides resources for healthcare providers who want to screen their patients. Mm -hmm. If somebody is at high risk, the navigator can help them schedule an exam and will also contact the patients personally with the results. That helps to be sure that patients find out what's going on and if something else should be done. Sure, a great resource. It is. And it, in fact, it's, we think it's so important that at the present time, MidState is offering the screening, the screening CT scans at no charge, regardless of insurance coverage, because we don't want people to think they can't have it if they might benefit. Sure. I, uh, doctor, you mentioned uh, high risk. Who's high risk for lung cancer? Well, the, the uh, National Lung Screening Trial uh, is a scientific study that concluded a couple of years ago, and it suggests that people who are between the ages of 50 and 74, 55 and 74, mm -hmm. who have uh, st either are smokers or stopped smoking within the last 15 years, and have a greater than 30 pack year history of smoking wow, are okay. people who may benefit. Got it. Um, and Dr. Alvarado, I know that there's the new technology, as Dr. Carroll mentioned. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put some video up on the screen if you could explain to us uh, exactly what we're looking at here. Sure. Um, well, basically, you know, one of the advances in computer technology is that we can get really good images of the lung, basically almost hologram type images. And so you can see right there that sort of hologram appearance to a concerning you know, mass in the lung. Um, uh, a company by the name of Super Dimension decided to combine that with GPS type technology like we would use to drive our car okay. to be able to allow us to put working catheters out to an area of the lung that's concerning. So on the screen now you can see that we basically have a yellow brick road that's laid out for where we can advance our bronchoscope and then once the bronchoscope can't advance any further, we can actually put a steerable channel, a steerable working catheter, all the way out to where we need to biopsy or get samples of the lung. Um, on the right-hand screen, you see the image from the bronchoscope, and on the left-hand screen, you see what's essentially a virtual bronchogram uh, that shows us where we need to go. And doctor, uh, within the last couple of years, uh, the information came out of just how important it is to have the, the chest scan to prevent lung cancer. Yeah, you know, for, for patients at risk, uh, the study that Jim spoke about showed that there was about a 20% reduction in uh, mortality from lung cancer if people are appropriately screened. Mm -hmm. um, what we're trying to do is really reverse the fact that 
Right now, for all comers with lung cancer, uh, there's about a 15% survival rate. And that's in contradistinction to breast cancer or prostate cancer, where sometimes the survival rate's over 90%. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that if we can diagnose cancers at an early stage and pick them up, uh, that we'll be able to increase that survival rate. Right now, we're, we're sort of dependent on when um, masses become symptomatic. Sure. That's usually when they're much bigger and more spread. Almost too late, right? Correct. All right, well, let's put the information up on the screen about all the resources uh, for Mid-State Medical Center. All you have to do is uh, log on to their website, midstatemedical.org, or you can simply call 1-800-DOCTORS. Both of you, thank you so much for all the information. Sure, thank you. Thank you. All right, coming up next, Chef Barbara Gugnoni puts a spin on the traditional pumpkin pie, but first, take a look at this.